So, but it's it's been, you know, we've been seen, seen some class battles and, and and it's been a pleasure. Yeah, it has been a good tournament. And apart from you and I feeling a little chilly on a couple of days, well, I see you didn't bring your jumper on. <laughs> can't blame them for that. That's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> So an all Chinese men singles affair, and of course these two players will know each other's games inside out because they train together on a regular basis. And of course our match officials, because it's two Chinese players, two match officials are indeed Chinese because it still remains neutral. So we've got Tai Feng Ji and Lu Meng umpire and service judge for this one. So it's a healthy situation still for China as far as badminton is concerned because this all Chinese affair will guarantee that they've won four of the five titles this year here at the China Open. Looking at the younger of the two men, but only just a little younger, 22 years of age, Wang Jiming from Guangdong province. 17 in the world ranking, down three places actually from a week ago. And then you can see how much he struggled in his first two matches. First of all against Vladimir Ivanov of Russia and then against Sonny Dui from Choro of Indonesia, who of course disposed of the number four seed Duke Yu in the first round. Of course, he didn't have to play a semi-final. He was given a walkover yesterday was Wang Jiming against the number two seed former world champion Chen Jin. Now to Chen Long, the former champion, as I say, champion two years ago, beaten finalist last year. Currently a number three in the world, but he has been as high as two. And his win-loss record for the year translates into just one title. And that was also here in China. The China Masters, first Super Series event post the Olympic Games. Won all of his matches in two straight games. And he seems to have got better and better as the tournament progressed. Because in the quarter-final, he beat the number 5 seed Kenichi Tago, 21-13, 21-12. And then in the semi-final, disposed of Chong Wei Feng from Malaysia, 21-6, 21-7. So this is the fourth meeting between these two men. And if you're a Wang Chiming fan, that statistic will be a little ominous. Because all three previous meetings have been won by Chen Long. The last occasion was the second round of the recent Denmark Open Super Series event. The fourth of the Premier events of the year. This, of course, the China Open is the fifth and final Premier event. And just one more Super Series event to come. Next week, the tour moves on to Hong Kong. And then, of course, early December, we'll have the Super Series finals. So plenty more badminton to look hey, forward to. Chin Long, the number one seed, far side of the courts, against the unseeded Wang Chiming. Now we we said from the first time we saw Wang Chiming this this tournament that he looked stronger. He looked uh, the more, Wang Chiming. Yeah, Wang Chiming. He looks much. He looked much stronger now. Today, I would say this is this is the big test you know, on how far he's, he's come on that. Because Chen Long looked very strong yesterday, um, solid also. So
Oh, it's just wide. Well, perhaps more incentive for the younger man, this man. Wang Jiaming. By virtue of the fact that he's never won a title, let alone a Super Series title. Been in one final, that was the Singapore Super Series earlier this year when he lost out to Boonsak Ponsana. But this is first ever Premier Super Series final. Should just explain so that the premier status only came into existence at the beginning of 2011. So once this year's Super Series has concluded, we'll have only had two years of premier status events. And a wonderful. He was tra he was only 22, wasn't he? So he was training when he started. So he's yeah. he's got his time ahead. Yeah. But I think it's been a, a wonderful innovation by the BWF, the Badminton World Federation, to place five of the 12 Super Series tournaments to an even higher status. Yeah. Definitely. It gives something special to it. It, yeah. it. It's a good tradition to start, I think. Yeah. Oh. And they are also getting much better, these tournaments. So, you know, I highlight the, the setup is getting better and better and better. And, and it's much better from when I played, I can just say it. So from much that better conditions. So. Better conditions, better organization, better presentation. Everything is getting much bigger. Yeah, um, yeah I agree. The, with the, that. The, 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 the arenas they play in is much better. I, yeah. I played once in Shanghai. It definitely wasn't under these conditions. Yeah. So, so that's. It gives a, a nice touch to it that it's good organized and and it's you know it's a it has something special to it when it's a premier. Yeah. Um, I like that and it will only, it will only get better. Uh, I'm I'm sure of that. Um, but still, it's only two years it's been there. Yeah. Um, but you know you look at other major individual sports such as tennis and golf and they have their equivalent of our premiers in that they have the grand slams in tennis they have the majors in golf you know and and it's a system that seems to work well we obviously want the 12 super series events because we want to keep players playing on a regular basis yeah. and that's exactly what tennis and golf do themselves but to have that premier status that higher status as you say just makes it that extra special yeah. um, and it has to be. It ha yeah. You have to have these tournaments. So. Yeah. And, and therefore, uh, therefore, it's also important that that Bamson keeps continuing down that that uh, path or road, if you can say that. Yeah. So we get a, you know, you can, we can talk. There's a few things we can already we discuss a few things this week that can be better. With the ladies' doubles. Yeah. You know that needs to be addressed. Addressed. Uh, that's not good enough if it says premier. Uh, You've got to have a full draw. Yeah, or else uh, it, there needs to be done something there. Uh, um, uh, the other thing, having a final now, I'm not saying that was, <laughs> you know, uh, not going to happen anyway. But but uh, having a pair that plays that late, and then already, you know, don't doesn't have the break before uh, the final, uh, is is something that probably also needs to be addressed somehow. Um, but all in all, it's a much better, a huge success. Yeah. The whole yes. Super Series, the Premier status now. Yeah, well, I can see it in the players. Progress. You know, I can see it in the players. They, they also get that extra motivation when it is a Premier because they can, they feel, you know, this is okay. This is special, and the better, the better we see that get, the, um, the more you, you won't see these. Uh, these reaction after the, an Olympic, I think, um, um, because still for badminton players to go to the Olympics the way that is, you know, mm. the way that the rules they have in the Olympics, the, the standards of an Olympics is still the highest you can get, and we need to get it as close as possible to that for the premiers also. Um, And I think, you know, if you take the Wimbledon, I think that's, you know, for tennis players, Wimbledon, Olympics, that's, you know. Mm. Oh, 
It's gone well wide. Another thing in the stand of a Premier is again, I think the the, the, ref, the umpiring here and the line judges and everything has been really, really good. Um, uh, and that's something that also gives, for the players, gives that special thing that they know, okay, it's really, really professional line judges that are out there. They're doing the job well. And as I said, I haven't seen one wrong call. The one wrong call was actually an umpire. It wasn't actually the line judge, because yeah. he was right. So, um, and then maybe some more heat. <laughs> 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 but that's just for us, mate. It's very difficult, isn't it, when two players from the same nation have to play against each other in a major final because they're so aware of each other's style of game. And it's a it's a good training uh, day with a lot of nerves. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a where well you would probably play without nerves in training. This is suddenly there's something at stake, and um, but you still know exactly what your opponents weapons are and weaknesses and um, good judgment and therefore you often see actually games not you know not up to the normal standard well, just not sparking in the same way because no. they're, they're reading each other's players so well having said that I seem to remember you playing a men's doubles against another Danish combination I've never seen such a fiery match been a few. Which one was that? Gasp from the crowd. It's that also a special comment that you know we have to remember that on Monday, if they only have another tournament, on Monday you're training against the same mm. players, and then if you lose that one and you come on Monday, you, you know it's it is very very tough. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's it would be fair comment to say that, you know, players in Europe from European countries, I remember when I was playing, um, you know, I don't mean this unkindly, but not everybody that played in the England team at the time were necessarily friends. And therefore, uh, you know, you didn't always, the system was very different then, you didn't have a nationalised training centre, we all trained as individuals, and therefore there was, you know, I think within the training environment at the, the National Training Centre in Beijing for these badminton players, you know, I think they they socialise together, mm. they, they live together, you know, it's it's much more difficult to to get that edge yeah, yeah, that we so too, used yeah. to have when we were playing against yeah. our own teammates. Definitely, they 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 seem more, you know, just proud of it and, and acknowledging each other. Um, which is something that is needed if you need a, you know, a training system to work. Uh, uh, for me, it looks like that the Chinese men's singers have realized that the better they, you know, the better they can make training work, the better it is for everybody. Mm. Instead of one of the players going one direction and one in the other, you know, together. Yeah, it might be that you know Lin Dan wins the most, but by sacrificing uh, in, at training uh, uh, for each other, then you know, there will only be good results for everybody, you know. Yeah, that's a lovely backhand. Wow. You say that the, the difference between, you know, and you mentioned tennis and, and badminton is that, you know, they do train a lot together in Denmark, for example, they train together. Where in tennis you're much more individual in your training and we'll, we'll probably be training with different countries. We don't do that so much in Bampton. It's all the country's trains for, you know, with each other. Charles Ranger, the singles coach, sitting back and just enjoying watching this from the stands. He's done his job. Yeah. And he's done it well. Maybe time, this time to sneak down and get a few advices. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's 
possible advantages at the mid-game interval. And you also see here, no coaches. Not only not no national coaches, but no other players going in who might be better friends, not helping, you know, it's very neutral. Um, Figure things out themselves. Missed it. Jermaine was going to look a little bit sluggish today, not having competed in a semi-final yesterday. But actually, he's looking the sharper of the two men. Yeah. One point sharper. <laughs> well, he's actually looking good. I'm surprised by him. Yeah. The start he looks... Smart move by Wang. You see it again, you can see it's good from a good lift he stays forward. Look how far up he stands on the court. Almost like he knew that drop shot was going to come. Yeah, well that's just really emphasizing the point we were making earlier, that they know each other's game so well. Yeah. No so. real surprises. Errors like that yesterday, did he? Another broken string. Yeah. Well, the string has had a tough job this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to know how many rackets they've restrung. Normally at tournaments and able to talk to some of the stringing team, and they usually do an average of at least 500 rackets in the week. This has been higher. Yeah, I'm sure. A lot of players also get them string at tournaments because it can, it can happen on a flight to from Denmark to China, for example, that they get a little bit too soft and the tension is not right, so they have to restring them. more like the chain law we used to see. Two of our arena presentation team. Always doing a good job. Good night shot. Apologizes for the good fortune. You should see it again on the replay. You can see that Wang Ziming is already almost, uh, you can't see it here, but he's almost standing over there. You see why it's his cannon. He knew where that was going to come, that shot. So. so if it hadn't been a net cord. Look there, he cuts it 
You see the angle of uh, Tin Long's racket is that he thinks he's coming straight, and instead he cuts it at the last second, and the deception, he, he, he fools him the other way. Very smart shot. There's a lot of battle for the front court right now. Both players are really standing high on the court when the other one is on the back. Smash with a full pirouette there. Oh, what the Danish boys doing a little dance after their victory, and look <laughs> at this. Yeah. Uh, strong, strong legs. and easy coming back yeah I just get the impression that Chen Long has just upped his intensity a little bit uh, yes yeah. it does look like that strap he has is falling apart at the minute so on his right knee yeah. oh, this is four straight points 14 15 adrift Chen Long knew exactly where that shot was coming. Oh. We should see that again. We can see in the de defense already standing out on this backhand side, uh, like he knew that it, where that was going to come. And of course, that's frustrating to play against. You know, that means that you will have that little bit of a doubt every time you hit the smash. <laughs> Is my opponent already standing there? And after that lunge forward Chen Long just looking no, I think it was more the racket sure yeah. not his uh -oh. knee yeah it's the racket no uh, we might be right sorry I'm getting too old <laughs> <laughs> he is a big strap he has one It's always a sign that if a player is struggling with an injury, they start going for winners too early on in the rally when they haven't really worked the opening. And there was the shuffle changed. Just one point in it. Shot. Boom. Yeah. Oh. 
the court moppers on after the dive from Wang never seemed to move his feet did he he seemed too contentious to dive rather than they're wanting to copy Lee Chong Wei and <laughs> Lin Dan with that because of course they're both absolute masters of that diving but they're so quick to get up yeah. and play on of course, these two players are much bigger, so yeah. it's a little bit... Not so agile. No, it takes a little bit longer time for them to... Oh! No. oh well, that's one of the game points well saved. Again, one to in reading to Long's attack. Yeah. Well played. The angle across court, the dive, and once again, as you've described, these two athletes too big to be diving and getting up quickly again but look he's how too quick, slow quick he comes back to the net there yeah so the opening game to the former champion Chen Long He just had that, you know, a little bit where, where, where Chen Long changed the tempo a little bit. He wasn't really ready for it, but I think yeah. he's played kind of the, the, the right tactic. Um, I think he's really good at the net, Wang hey. So Maybe I would try and do some of these cross hey. net shots uh, to get the lift a little bit more than Chen Long being in the, the attack. But other than that, just uh, continue what he's doing. There's a big difference uh, in Wang Chimen when you saw, saw him against Kashyuk where he was, you know, he's almost jumping on the back every time and using these hard cuts and uh, sticks. Uh, today he's a little bit more patient with that. Um, maybe he needs to show a tempo shift sometimes to, to kind of surprise Chen Lung. Um, that could be a way. So there you go. It's a good crit in the cross, but Oh, what a good lift. Yeah, 
Very good. Oh. oh, superb. This is what I talked about. He uses the net cross, but what, what I would like him to do there is actually to stay up in the court um, and close the net. sort of agility that we witnessed certainly in his quarter-final against it's cash out paru bali and the change of tempo Good pressure from Chen Long. See, st stays in the front court. It's all about the initiative right now in the front court. Who wins the net? Probably gonna win the match. Oh. Oh, that's amazing net yeah. control. Incredible spin. Incredible spin by Chen Long. technique. from him. <laughs> Good rally. Yeah, he should have left it. isn't it takes one that we were convinced was going out and then leaves one that's very very clearly in See for Chen Long that was an important point. Keeping the advantage. Oh. Again. That's why. You know, we talked during the women's singles over the last couple of days, haven't we, about the importance of the spinning net shot and in men's singles it's absolutely crucial and it's becoming that way in women's singles as well but 
already in this final. We've seen the number of times this man playing tight, spinning net shots, completely set up the rally. If it's not an out outright winner. Yeah. But you see, they don't, they don't at all cost. Oh, ha. at all cost, it doesn't give the net away right now. No, not, not mm. a, nobody of them in there wants to, uh, wants to be in defense. So uh, it is about. It's a fantastic spin because mm. it's a very, very, very good cover. But Xi Qinlong is already, he already knows it's coming. So that has to be so tight. So tight, yeah. <laughs> and this is now we're into this friends playing against each other. No really rallies right now. They know each other in and out. Um, so sometimes it doesn't give the best rallies. Oh, long rallies, I wouldn't say it's bad. Yeah, they're showing very good badminton. Yeah, I like, like that. that shot, yeah. So I don't mean it's not good badminton. It's very good badminton and good quality shots. Uh, but we don't see these rallies like you see, for example, Lin Dan and Li Chung Wei. Yeah. And of course, you've got to add into the mix the fact that the fans here in Shanghai probably don't know which player to cheer for because no. they're you know they like both of the Chinese players yeah. although I think Chen Long is from this area isn't he pretty certain he is yeah but I think China is, is when they when we are this stage China is China of course so you can also hear they don't really know who to cheer for yeah I just think they want to to show Chinese badminton from for the best, and that's good badminton play, and yeah. they're doing that. Um, I like, uh, actually, like they do try to make some of these difficult shots. Uh, they could also be mm. chosen just to try and run each other down, and that sometimes doesn't give the best badminton, I think. So here they're trying net shots, difficult cross cuts, and stuff. So yeah, being adventurous. Yeah. yeah. So. Again, fantastic. Oh. Missed it. Right. Yeah, Chen Ming is not going anywhere. No. <laughs> Chen Long is beginning to get a little bit frustrated. Oh, I got away with it. It keeps it exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so, the advantage once again to Chen Long. And here's the strap. I think he's, he's not. Did he fix it? Yeah, he did. No, he did. Yeah, he did. So, a three point advantage. Of course, in the opening game, the advantage was with Wang Jiming at the mid-game interval. Unlucky. That is unlucky. It was clever. Wanted to just get the shuttle over the head of Chen Long. Oh. Yeah. Good call, line judge. Both these players, former world junior champions, Chen Long in 2007 in New Zealand, 
Wang Xiaoming in the later 2008 in India. Oh, fantastic. A lot of net today. And the world junior champion a couple of weeks ago in the men's singles, boys' singles. Momoto, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Momon Momoto, yeah, because it sounds like a motor. So it's <laughs> Momoto, Momoto. From Japan. Japan yeah. Exactly. Played really, really well. And Japan, is there a shift of power in badminton, I wonder? Japan winning both the boys' singles and girls' singles at World Junior Championships. Oh, that's just long as well. Oh, well, they must know about the drift in this arena. Yeah. That's not much. They're playing to the edge. He's definitely feeling that right knee, isn't he? Yes. A couple of times he's just sort of bent the knee after the rally and... He's taking the strap off, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Yeah. Did, did look like he wasn't... He was falling off, anyway. Falling off, yeah. yeah. Control the racket head there to play that drop. Seemed to be off balance. Yeah, but you look at that just at the end. Now here you see him. He just waits and waits and waits and then soft. And it looks so easy, but it's so difficult. Yeah. That's a good shot. That's more Wang Jimin from the semi-final. The hard attack from the backcourt coming forward, putting pressure on his opponent. Something I think he's been really good at in this tournament. We haven't seen it that much today. Uh, but of course, that could also be Cheng, Cheng Long. Uh, preventing it. Preventing it, yeah. yeah. So, but he definitely has a has a good uh, tempo shift. Oof. Sloppy points there from Chen Long. Oh, the court will need to be mopped. Good job. Nice and quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the court assistants, nine judges, umpires, everybody's been very good this week. Oh, under the leadership. 
Championship of BWF tournament referee, Isabelle Jobar of France. of the last eight points have just gone to Wang Jiming. Yeah. You sort of see these not so focused or uh, unfocused arrows that Jin Long had there. Kind of got Wang Jiming started. You see that that's just the difference between the... Uh, oh. Well along the back line, that's a, a missed opportunity for Wang Xiaoming. Once again, Chen Wang Wang. Look how quickly he comes forward. Oh, good reaction by Chen Yang there. But you see these, if you talk about we saw these two uh, very unfocused arrows from Chen Long. You say if you want to battle with Lee Dan, Lin Dan and Lee Chung Wei, that's something you can't do. Attacking shot and immediately going forward again with that pace that you've been talking about. In he goes. Yeah. And in that in that smash there, he maybe uses 80% of his power and more, uh, playing it more precise to the line. That means he's always already moving forward. He's not, you know, he's not using 100%, so he's standing still. He's using it, using an 80% to follow up on the shot. And something do you see most men's singles players do nowadays. That means that the the opponent in defense has to generate the power himself and that sometimes oh, coming forward now he took it to a different gear now yeah. one always sensed i can remember saying just a moment or two ago he played a couple of sloppy points yeah. you know but he has that ability to suddenly up the intensity yeah. again um, but, uh, I, we all know that Long can do that i'm just saying if he's to battle with Lin Dan and yeah. Chung Wei, you can't have sloppy points. No, exactly. Yeah, I agree totally. And I'm pretty sure that's where he want to go. He wants to yeah. challenge those guys. No, he missed with his backhand kill just a moment ago. That time, Wang Jiming. Bringing it down much steeper, so steep it bounced on the top of the tape before going over. Point. And the error on the net shot means that Chen Long has three match point opportunities.
missed it. Oh, it's a pity the crowd weren't involved like this from the early stages of this men's singles. Yeah. Crowd loving that rally. It's a good rally. This time, Chen Long pounces on the cross court net shot. 21 19, 21 18 in 47 minutes. His second China Open title regains the title that he won two years ago. His sixth Super Series title in total and his second Premier. Super Series title to add to the Denmark Open that he won last year. So the Olympic bronze medalist Chen Long takes the title here at the leaning China Open against teammate Wang Cheming. 21-19-21-18. Well, a prize presentation for the men's singles coming up in just a moment. But in the meantime, we can reflect on finals day. And the role of honour goes to China with four of the five titles. Denmark won title, retaining the men's doubles, but it all started with mixed doubles in the world number ones, Xu Chen and Ma Jin, overcoming the Malaysians Chen and Go in two straight games. Li Xiaorui, the Olympic champion, was just too good for the 17-year-old from Thailand. And Wang Xiao Li and Yu Yang, nice to see them back in badminton and nice to see them winning again. They play a very aggressive, uh, adventurous style of play. And as for the Danes, well, they really did play with superb form throughout the entirety of the tournament, retaining the title that they won last year. And in the men's singles, Chen Long, well, on the crucial points, he was just too good for Wang Zheming, and as you saw, two straight games. So we're ready for the prize presentation now of the men's singles. are invited to step forward for the prize presentation. Two fine athletes from China. Wang Xiaoming. Two Super Series tournament finals he's appeared in this year twice that he's had to settle for second best. For Chen Long, his second Super Series title of the year. Both of them now having been won on home soil here in China.
just uh, be on young, making the presentation. So as the men's singles finalists pose with the dignitaries in the prize presentation of the men's singles, time for us to reflect on a wonderful week here in Shanghai. Some great badminton as Jim Lauberson has been saying the lull that we've experienced after the Olympic Games is over. We have seen badminton at its very, very best.